Hi everyone, I'm Ruvi Rasuria. Uh, I'm the creative director of uh, The Order 1886 and we're here to talk about the game. I believe Mademoiselle requires our attention. Legrain, we're in position! About time! The area we're demoing today is, uh, is happening in Whitechapel. It's really a continuation of what we showed in February. We ended that sequence with them being called out uh, because there was something happening outside. What we see here is really what happens and why you called outside and the core gameplay that we've been talking about for all this time. So uh, the, the, the segment in the, uh, of gameplay in Whitechapel takes uh, place very early on. I mean, uh, we've showed, uh, as the game starts actually, there's a, there's a little chapter uh, title come, come, that comes in in chapter three and it's called Inequalities. I mean, it's, a, it's very telling that it's called Inequalities because here you are, the Knights of the Round Table, uh, m very much considered to be defending the rich only, you know, in, in this society, fighting against the poor of Whitechapel, which is not really what you want to do because you are trying to protect them. The thermite rifle actually is an interesting weapon because if you remember, we showed that weapon a year ago to date. It was shown at, uh, at the uh, E3 trailer uh, and Lafayette was using it. It was really a way for us to kind of, you know, plant the seed in people's mind and have them talk about it until we could really demo what it did. And today, in this demo, we're really showing the full power of it. It's a cover buster, it's an amazing weapon. You can literally paint fire in the, on the city and uh, it's a lot of fun to play with. The interesting thing is that there's a lot of research out there about all these weapons, whether they existed like 40, 50, 60 years ago, or weapons that exist today or even 100 or so years ago. All of this is really as much as possible based on real things. You find YouTube videos of things that you would not believe. Uh, we, 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 you know, we started working on the order, now it's been a little bit more than three years ago, uh, with the intent of really delivering an experience that was unique, uh, something that people did not expect both visually in gameplay but in narrative as well. Uh, we have uh, a lot of work to do, there's always a lot of work to do, I think there's going to be a lot of work to do the day before we go gold, but uh, you know, we, we're targeting an early 2015 release and uh, really that, that's, that's in order to deliver the experience that we've promised we would deliver.